Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be taking few important sums from 5th standard scholarship mathematics section. Students, I have already uploaded few videos uh, for important questions and practice questions. Please go through them because in each video I have tried to cover different types of sums. So that will definitely help you at the time of examination. Okay, students, the first sum I have written here. 2 kg 2 gram is equal to how many kg? See in uh, my video on uh, mass, length and uh, capacity, I have covered everything in detail. In case you have not seen those videos, I suggest you please see them so that your concept about all these three different things will be very very clear. Okay. See, 2 kg, 2 gram is equal to how many kg? Here there is no tension because this is already kg. Right? Kg and gram. Uske beech mein aega decimal. So, this there is no tension. 2 kg. Decimal, now gram. Now, how to write 2 here? That will decide whether you are going to get 2 marks or no. Now, what can be done? First question you need to ask, what is the relation between kg and gram? How many grams will make 1 kg? 1 kg is 1000 grams, right? That everybody knows. Now these zeros will help you to write this 2 here. 3 zeros means here there are 3 places. Now once you know this, you are supposed to write this 2 here. Can I write 2 here? No. Then I will have to fill up this with 2 zeros. Here this is only 2. Now I am writing 200. Is it correct? No. Can I write 2 here in the middle? Then remaining places I will have to fill up with zeros. Now this is 20. This zero has no meaning. I understand. 20. 2 and 20 are same? No. Then what am I supposed to do? I have to write this 2 here in the last and then add 2 zeros here. So this is 2, this is also 2. So conversion of this into kg is this. This is your answer. 2.002. Many students get confused in this and the options are so similar. They really don't know how to convert. So always remember whenever there is a question on conversion, this will help you. First ask yourself what is the relation between those two entities or two uh, units. Right? Then you will know how many zeros. And then you are supposed to make use of those places here. Three zeros, three places. Two zeros, two places only. Right? Okay? Chal. Aage badte hai bachche Students, read the next sum properly. Which is the 13th odd number after 22? I have seen students doing it manually. 22 ke baad aata hai, 23, then 25. No. We are giving scholarship. We have to work smartly. And to work smartly, we have different formulae. Right? So this is also based on formula. I have already discussed this formula in one of my earlier videos. Okay, so see all the videos. In each video, you will gain something or the other. Okay, chalo. I will discuss this formula again. They are telling us to find the 13th odd number after 22. So, I have to write 22 first. After, so plus. If this would have been before, I would have written minus. After, so plus. Immediately bracket. 13th odd number. So 13 into 2 is compulsive. Okay, this is a part of formula. And here you have to wait and ask yourself whether they are asking us to find out the odd number or even number. In this case it is odd number. Okay, second question. Your starting point is odd number or even number? Even number. So odd find out karna hai. Even se start karke. So even and odd. They are not matching. Whenever they are not matching, you are supposed to do minus 1. If they would have asked 13 even number, 
this is also e1 22 is also e1 and they are asking to find out also e1 number so e1 e1 then i would not have written this minus 1 please be careful there because one one difference se hi options aayenge so you should not get confused board mass again bracket wala pehle solve karna hai in that also multiplication first 13 into 2 26 minus 1 is 25 then simple addition 47 47 is the answer in past question papers this type of questions they have asked many times so please revise this again in case you have not understood it please let me know in the comment section okay very very easy formula chalo aage badhte hain bachche log see the next question find biggest decimal number from the given alternatives i have written four alternatives here very easy i have deliberately taken this particular sum it's very easy but probability of making mistake is also more here okay very simple rule jitna number decimal se right side jata hai it becomes smaller and smaller and smaller whenever it is close to decimal it is the biggest number now very easy ye tisre number pe hai decimal se 1 2 3 this is 1 2 3 4 this is 1 and this is 1 2 so obviously this is very close to decimal so this is the biggest number obviously which is the smallest number this because it is far away from the decimal baki sab to zero hi hai right so this is the smallest number this is the biggest number in this particular sum they have asked us to find out the biggest decimal so this is the answer isn't it easy only thing is your concepts about decimal fraction should be very very clear Okay, again I would like to tell you, in my video I have properly explained rules about decimal fractions. Please see. Okay, chal, aage badhte hai. See students, I have written the next sum on the board. 3, 5 box into 16 is equal to 5728. 5728. Now these are the options. Okay, so here in this kinds of sum you have to take help of options after saying this what are you supposed to do fill up this with 2 first 352 into 16 you have to see whether the multiplication is this if answer is no then write 4 here and then again do multiplication and then see whether the answer is this if no then 6 6 356 into 16 then see whether you are getting this. Are you supposed to do this? No. I keep on telling you, you have to work smartly. See, we don't expect you to do lengthy procedure or lengthy calculations. Papers are set in such a way, we are trying to find out how quickly and efficiently you arrive at the answer. Okay. What I said just now, fill up this with 2 and see whether this is correct or wrong. The method is not wrong, but it is not fit for competitive exams. When you want somebody to call you as scholar, you have to behave like scholar. Isn't it? So easy. So I'll tell you how to do that. See, first you fill up this with 2. Okay, I have done that. Am I going to do multiplication? 3, 5, 2, 352 into 16? No. I am going to take help of only the units place of both the numbers. 2 and 6. 2, 6 are 12. Again, 12 ka unit place is 2. So here, is there 2? No, this is 8. So option 2 is not there. Then option 4. 354 into 16 is 5728. How will I find out? I will take help of this units place. This unit place, I will multiply them. 6 4s are 24. 24 has again units place 4. Is there 4 here? No. So this option is also wrong. Then I will put 6 in this. 3, 5, 
6 I will put into 16. Again do the same thing. Units place of this, units place of this. 6, 6 are 36. But here 36 may units place is again 6 only. But here it is 8. So this option is also wrong. So 358, last one option. Into 16. Now see. 8, 6 are 48. 48 has unit space 8. Here it is 8. So 8 is the correct option. I have not tried and done the multiplication to see whether it is 5728. It is bound to be 5728. I have not done big big calculation, big big multiplications. I have just taken the help of units place and found out whether the answer is going to be 8 or anything else. In this case it is 8. Okay. So we have to find out the units place. So I have taken the help of units place only. Please revise this sum properly because many students spend lot of time solving this by the earlier method. Jo smart wala method nahi hai. Wrong nahi hai. Lekin smart bhi nahi hai. Okay students, we will stop here in this video. But I promise you, I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then, what are you supposed to do? Study well. And very important thing is, correct? Enjoy studying. Bye bye.